Hello everybody, it's Niklas and welcome to this new video on Planner 5D. And on this video, I'm going to show you how you can create walls, how you can use walls in this uh, software, in these online tools. If you like my video, subscribe to this YouTube channel. First link on the description, the complete course Planner 5D is available. This is my complete course that I propose. So if you want a course structure step by step with a complete project, how you can use Planner 5D, this course in first link on the description will be perfect. So let's start. Planner 5D, very great tools if you want to work with interior design. It is uh, extremely efficient. This is not the only online tool, but is, it is clearly one of the best. To use these features, you can go on this area and you have the possibility to draw walls. So I can click on this one. And after I can go left click and position the first point, for example, position the first point here. And you can pull with the values that you want. If I want 10 meters, I can pull until to arrive at 10. And at 10, for example, I can stop and I can go in this direction. If I want, uh, why not six? I can stop at six here and I can go in this direction, 10, and I can come back and just snap. You need every time to close the walls if you want to create a room or it's not going to work properly. And now I created, for example, this first big room, or it can be a base for a house, for example. If I want to extend, I can extend pull a wall on the direction or on the door direction. You can also take the corner of the walls just like this if you want to make adjustment. So now what's happen if I want to create the uh, walls inside to create new room? Sometimes it is a um, little in troubles. I'm going to show you maybe if you create a, a wall, like for example, I can create another walls on this direction and on this direction and I can press escape. And this is a perfect example because I don't have created a new room. It's not closed. And when you have these problems, you need to move little bit this point and you need to move little bit this point to snap. And now I have a new room, as you can see. Sometimes it's a little strange because maybe the position is not perfectly posi po po positioned. And this is why sometimes it is difficult. So now I can drag and move this, drag and move this, and make the size that I want for this room. If I want to create another room here, I can use my tools. And for example, I can click on this area and create a new wall just like this. If I press escape, I have the same problems. I don't have a new room on this area for the simple reason I don't have this small element. So I need to move little bit this one and now it's okay, I have a new room. So sometimes it's little in trouble, but you can just make a correction uh, moving little the point and after you can just come back. And at any moment you can drag and move the wall just like this. You can sweep to the 3D view, switch to the 3D view just like that. And it's great. If you want to change uh, things about the walls, for example, if I uh, just click on a wall, you can find the internal dimension and you have the thickness. By default, we just have 10 centimeters. Sometimes maybe you can put 20 centimeters outside, 10 centimeters inside. After up to you, you can change the thickness. Something also uh, important to know if you want to change your room, you can add corner point. So it means I can click on this line. And when I click on, um, click on this wall, I have these options, add corners. When I add corner, automatically I have a new corner in the middle. And thanks to that, I can pull this new corner on this direction, for example. And if I want to add something here, I need to, uh, something here, like a new element extended. It is possible, but I need to add new corner again. I have these new walls, new corner again. And now I can, for example, drag and move on this direction, like this. I can add a new corner, click on this one, new corner, and I can drag and move like this. And take a glance, I created this extension because I added new corner. And no need to, uh, no need to add, um, 
to add, for example, a new room, you can just add new corners. So each time you click here, you can add a new print. I can click here, add a new print or new corner. And if I want to make something like this now, it is definitely possible, just like that. So this is how you can work with uh, walls. After you can find the different dimension. And if you click on one of these, you have the options to edit the materials indoor, outdoor. You can delete the walls and you can duplicate. Um, you can, yes, uh, add corner print and you can also hide the walls. But here when you will add the walls, it's not working on every position here it's working, for example. Why it is useful? It will be useful when you want, for example, to create new levels and you add a stair. And sometimes it is useful to be able to add a walls. But outside of this uh, of this concrete case, not many concrete cases where it will be useful to hide a wall. So let's stop here on this uh, little tutorial on Planner 5D, small tutorial. If you like this video, subscribe to this YouTube channel. I'm Nick Lass. I'm online teacher about many graphic design software. And I like a lot, a lot of software, open source software, a lot of very great uh, alternative, very great software that maybe you don't know. And this channel is perfect for you to discover all this software. First link on the description, the complete course is available on Planner 5D. 5D. So if you want to learn more, if you want to see perfectly how you can create a project from the beginning, from scratch, beginning to the end, this course will be perfect. It is on the first link on the description. You will have models, sessions, what you can learn. And for our next video on this, on this channel, see you. Ciao, ciao.